I just love all the buzz in Park City with Sundance now back after two years of being absent. We were all crossing yeah. our fingers that it wouldn't get canceled like it did last year, just days before it was supposed to happen. But no, it's, it's kicking on. off and the stars yeah. are there. Look at Park City right now. Um, this is one of our cameras. Just that light dusting of snow and it's just falling. And when it does, it's magical. But you can see, I mean... Roads aren't busy yet, but they will be. They, they will be will later. Be. That really is the word starting. to describe it is magical. Park right. City is just magical. But to see With it buzzing, snow. and I know the residents there are like, oh no, Sundance, and they see, avoid I, it. I but don't I know, Saray, after two years of not exactly, having it. Exactly. They're like, okay, bring it on this year. And not only that, we have a performance yeah. coming up mm -hmm. as Cap Cafe. You can go see those performances live. So if you're thinking, what can I get into if I don't have tickets, this is something that you can see. We have a sneak peek coming up later in the show. And then tons of movies. Our movie critic will run mm -hmm. down some of those popular ones. Okay, so I know you ski, Nisha. Savvy skier? A little bit. A little bit. I can, yeah, okay, I can get so, into it. So for those who actually don't ski, but they need to be at a ski resort, mm. what are some of the fun things that you can do? One could be going to Sundance, right? Or you could find out some other activities such as snowshoeing. Have you ever tried? I love snowshoeing, and I have a group of girlfriends that does that all the time. It is such a great workout. It's mm -hmm. harder than it sounds. It does, and that's why maybe I have not tried no, it you yet. So explain get snowshoeing. It's like these snowshoes that you, that you wear, wear and you just slide down the. No, no you, you, you walk. walk and you go and you go and Ooh. it is not easy, right? It's a little you bit are of lifting hiking, those up. Mm -hmm. Hiking or flat, it doesn't matter. But well, and I bet those are heavy. Savvy, you would like it because you can take your dog. Oh, your dog, okay, I'm in. Goes, and you hike. <laughs> Sign in the me snow. up for that. And then there's something called fat biking. I've never. The tires are the tires the are wider. Fat, so, and you, so can, you can go through the ski. Mm -hmm. I don't know trails. Apparently, um, you can try snow tubing, which is a mm, ton of fun. Really fun. Um, ride the gondola without going skiing; oh. just ride it around. I just feel like if you're not a skier or you've thought about being one, this is the year to try it because the, the powder, snow. right? Yeah. The snow is so incredible. So good. This article talked about Breckenridge, Lake Tahoe, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, but you know, Utah, we know we've got it good here with the snow. Um, and then you want to learn a little bit of lingo. Try that out too, so you kind of feel like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> like single? Single. Like, I mean, what are you talking about? Ski lingo? I mean, yeah, so, ski snow lingo. Shooing, yeah. Now snow I know. Shooing, uh, so a lot of people, they hear, this parent is so cute. She hears gnarly. 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 Okay. That's gnarly. <laughs> and big dump for the snow, mm -hmm. right? Um, do you know what regular versus goofy is? No. It's not, does I it mean on the that. gondola? Oh, it's, it's. Yeah. So it's whether you're left in front right. or right in front. Exactly. For snowboarders. Um, and then you can explore the town, the eateries, the coffee shops, just the desserts, just mm. how quaint Park City is, Breckenridge and all of those little ski towns. Or even up at Alta or Snowbird. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the food's great there too.